turn in a full circle. Perfect. You're good. Building 10, the largest research hospital in the world. OK, Bo, that's it. In many ways, is the beating heart of medical research. All right. Okay, so Anita, are you ready? Ready. I like to say this place is a place where science fiction can become reality. Building 10, which for over half a century has been a place of hope for hundreds of thousands of patients, was born in the aftermath of war. We're here today to lay the cornerstone of a building which will be devoted to the service of mankind. In 1951, just six years after the devastation of World War II, President Harry Truman laid the cornerstone for Building 10, setting forth a new and radical vision for medical research. It will serve men of all religions, all races, and all nations everywhere in the world. Truman envisioned Building 10 as a scientific sanctuary, a place where doctors would have the time and resources to find cures for modern medicine's greatest mysteries. And patients, in the hope of finding a treatment for what ailed them, would bravely help advance medical science. The NIH certainly has set a precedent for the rest of the world. Science was not just a responsibility to be left either to private industry or to the academic sector without support from the government. 